Today I'm working a little more in my Creativation uh, junk journal. And I thought I just might share some tips as I go through. Um, yesterday, uh, or the last video I uploaded, you can see how I painted some of the pages. And then I went through and just sort of started rearranging the pages. And so I've got some that are painted and then some that are not. And some I have sewn things to. Anything in here that I have sewn, you can glue or you can tape, like washi tape. So don't, you know, think, oh, I'm just, never mind this video. I don't have a sewing machine. I can't do this project. Yes, you can. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. I sewed this on the edge here. You can washi tape it. You know, it's just a little fold out thing. So, same here. I sewed. You can glue or use double sided tape. So, that's what I did. Left some of them blank, you know, just so I have options. And then some are painted. And um, I'm just going to work on this off and on. and film when I do something that you might find interesting. I think I showed this little pocket the other day that I made out of a flyer and I just sewed it down onto this piece of painted paper so that I've got a little pocket place. But today what I want to show you is this the inside of this cover. I showed this the other day and I was using the liquid acrylic inks didn't know what I was going to do here, but I didn't want to cover up my little people faces. So I just kind of outlined um, this using kind of what was already there, made the lines using the acrylic ink, and then thought that I might paint these in or something. But I decided what I wanted to do is use some of the painty papers that I made. These were two uh, postcards that I used acrylic inks on and I cut them to fit these little sections so that it will be kind of like a mosaic thingy going on. And when I cut them, you know, this is what they look like and those raw edges, cut edges like that, just don't make me happy. Sometimes I'll just take a sharpie and go along there to hide the cut edges. But this time I decided I wanted something a little bit metallic. So I used some, this is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics um, in soft gold. Comes in an 8 ounce thing like that. I don't know, I guess it comes in smaller ones too. This is, just happens to be the one that I have. So I pulled a little bit of this out. I put it on here. Kind of like that. And then I just took my cut pieces of uh, advertisements and just kind of dipped the edges in. Just like that. Not even really neatly. But just to give them a little edging. And then I just set those aside to dry. Well, face up is usually better, but you know, if you want to do it face down like me, <laughs> it's perfectly fine. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so here they are. All edged and ready to go. And I'm just going to glue them onto here. And this is just a kind of a good example of using what's there in your junk mail or your advertisements. You know, I mean, sure, you can just paint over the whole page and, you know, you've got a clean slate. Or kind of use what's there. I wanted to keep my girls here showing. So I think this is going to work out. And then all I'm going to do, see these are kind of cut to size. I'm going to glue these down so that I've got this kind of cool looking mosaic thing. It's going to be like a puzzle, figuring out where these all go now. <laughs> okay. Uh, are these... No, these go up here. 
And that's that piece. I cut them just slightly bigger than the opening. Or I tried to. It, does that go there? Nope. There. Okay. There. I'm one piece short. <laughs> oh, dead girl. Seriously? Uh, okay. I know I cut. This isn't it. This was a scrap piece because that's not right. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Don't tell me this is one of those things where it's right there, Shannon. Everyone can see it but me. Maybe it's stuck to the back of something. Again, not again, not again. Why? I thought I was so prepared. Oh, yeah, this looks like a piece. Stuck to something else. Oh, this is so frustrating. I have to go back to the paper cutters. Went around there. Maybe I did just completely miss it. Okay, well, clearly I've lost my mind. I'm pretty sure, like 99.9999% sure that I had cut just the right number of pieces. I painted them all up ahead of time so that they would dry. I wouldn't have to wait. I left out the sample to show you how I painted them. And then everything went to hell in a handbasket, apparently. Alright, so I'm just going to cut another one. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to have to do this one here. Okay, that one got all bubbly and weird, but I don't care because it's mixed media, right? I'm just going to let that cool a little bit while I'm gluing these others on. And the glue I'm going to use is this... Uh, Helmar Craft Glue. You can use any kind of good paper to paper glue. I think, um, you know, these are kind of almost cardstock weight, so I would use maybe like a tacky glue, something a little thicker than Elmer's. So, tacky glue, Helmar Craft Glue, uh, Helmar 450, Beacon 3 in 1, any of those kind of good strong paper to paper glues will work. I don't want to get glue everywhere, so just do that. And that. I think I'll kind of line it up with the edge. There we go. Now, that's going to stick down nice and strong. And I'm just going to go ahead and repeat with all these other pieces. And then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I'm not quite through, but <laughs> I was getting ready to glue this piece down and I turned it over. And look! <laughs> there it is! I was not insane! <laughs> I knew I made that piece. Okay, I can go on with my life now. Okay, now there we have it. I have this lovely page, a little bit of the junky goodness showing through with some paint and some cutouts. And then these ladies, I, since I'm, I've been talking about them in video after video, I guess I should maybe tag them or something. These are designers for StyleTechCrafts.com. This is Lori McCullers and Anita Scroggins and Sue Eldred. So I'll try to remember to tag them and let them know that I've been, I've been messing with them. 
So, yes, I love the way this turned out. And thanks to my brilliance, I have some extra pieces here that I can um, fold and I can use them for, you know, tabs or I can just make a little decorative thing out of them or something, you know. So nothing will be wasted. It'll all get used. So there is your tip of the day for um, doing something fun in your, you know, junk journal or anything where you're using recycled materials and you want to kind of showcase the recycledness of it along with some more creative painty paper elements. So there you are. Okay, that's it. The end.